Hello again, a new project for today. What I want to do, you see, I have this uh, multimeter, I may say, AM meter. This is for uh, counting volts and amps and uh, energy and time and so on. And this is PZEM015. I had a review about this a uh, few weeks ago and now it's time to have it in a proper case. I believe this is too big and uh, I think this is a proper dimension about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a hole over here to have the meter in and this will stay in there of course with, uh, with two screws and as long as we are here, let's do a test. This is a 50 amps shunt. Let's see how much resistance we have. So it's 1.64 milli ohms. And I'm gonna have a couple of these each side. Maybe here, because then I can have the connections in and out through these uh, connectors. It's very good like that because I can use multiple kind of uh, wires for different purposes, you know, like charging, lithium batteries, everything and anything. Yes. This should stay perfect here in place. Look. For now, I have to cut a hole over here. Take a piece of paper. And there we are. I think I'm gonna have some small holes. Good. Okay. Now let me see where I can put this thing. Have them over here. Why four? Because I'm gonna have two and two. Then it's much easier to to work with multiple wires or sources or power supplies or stuff like this. Now let's have some holes here. more than okay, but I'll have a screw more. That's it. This is perfect. Now, let's go to the other side and do exactly the same thing. To cut this now. Okay, so now it's time to, to make the connections. So here we have the schematic. One of these from the shunt. It's going to outside. Perfect.
So I'm going to have the minus up here and the plus is here. So that's why I have to take this wire as short as possible. Okay, so we are good here. Now let me have the other connections. So, this one, the yellow is here, the black goes blue together here. Perfect. And now we have to do something with. The red one, which is supposed to be a power connection. So that's why I'm gonna make over here kind of opening. We're gonna have a little bit of soldier. And there we are. The project is done and we can go to test. Now it's time to test uh, this new meter in the case already. I think it's looking pretty good. So my IMAX is ready and I have a 24 volt battery. Let's connect this to plus. Okay, this is my here. This is plus and we need we need something like this from plus okay my industrial driver too See, this is nice about this kind of uh, connections because this can uh, this can be modified by the needs so I can adapt it to any kind of uh, any kind of power so let's see the battery now it's already on we have 19.6 volts it should be 24 okay now let's reset the the machine here I don't want to talk too much about this because we had that in in the previous uh, video I did Okay, now let's find the menu here. Well, I think the battery have a problem. Let me try something, something else. Let me try this pack. So this pack should have 19 volts. Or 20 something. It's fine here, and let's have a plus. So minus. It's outside. And plus it's in the middle yes we have 20 volts here and this is a lithium 5 in series and let's go yeah we see the current there 1.3 amps 1.1 and we have 1.06 over here, 19 ohms. So 
all I have to say that it's pretty close. Look at the. We have 21 volts here, 20.9. It's almost the same. So it's charging with 1920 watts and 1 amp, almost 1 amp here, almost 1 amp there. So what I can say is that the project is working, the meter is working nice, I love that, and it's very useful. I can use it for my solar charger, I can use it for anything that involves uh, currents and voltages, inputs and outputs and so on. Okay, that's it for now. I hope this is useful for you. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask them. Please push like and subscribe. Don't forget to have fun. Until the new project, be safe. Bye bye.